Welcome back, friends. Today, we are checking out the pilot for The Owl House. I've had this show recommended to me several times, so I'm just checking out the first episode, seeing if I enjoy it, and I'm doing that for several shows just to see what I might want to do in the future. Literally know nothing about this show, though. Don't know who works on it, who the cast or characters are. Actually, I do know that it's an animation. But yeah, owls often have something to do with magic, so is that in any way part of the story? Or is it somehow about a literal house for owls? I'm going to find out. Full reaction is going to be on Patreon. Leave a like to let me know if you'd like to see more of this show. And let's get started. Azura, warrior of peace. <laughs> it's a bazooka. You, my only weakness, dying. <laughs> dying. <laughs> and that's the end. Oh. Your book report is why you're in here. What? Why? Are those actual snakes? What the heck? Oh, that's where the backup snakes were. And what were you Backup snakes? Give me death. <laughs> Whoa! It's just sausages. Why are people running? Okay, that that's a little terrifying. Anatomically correct touch, spider breath. With actual sprite. If you can learn to separate uh, fantasy from reality, you may need to spend the summer here. Reality check. Oh my god. I won't let you down. Uh, immediately reason. lets her down. You'll be so busy balancing uh, checkbooks and learning to appreciate public radio. But I don't Sounds like any of that stuff. horrible. I like editing anime clips to music and, and reading fantasy books with convoluted backstories. Aww. Miha, your fantasy world is holding you back. Do you have any it friends? It really isn't. Real ones. You have to try. You don't have to throw it out. Yes, Mom. You don't have to throw it out. Bye, Mom. It's about a balance. You don't have to throw out everything you're passionate about. Yeah, bring it back. Bring it back. How is it already missing? What? Tiny trash thief! <laughs> what are you doing up in the... Middle of the morning. That's the Owl House. I kind of love her already. What's her name? Did they even say her name yet? Stop adorably hopping away, you. Magic it is. I thought I had a lot of weird stuff, but this. You do. <laughs> Finally, you're back. Ooh. I think it was moving. Yeah, Who's back? See what we garbage, garbage, garbage. This. Whoa. <laughs> this will make me rich. It will. And this. Garbage. Oh, this will make good kindling. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me, sorry, this is mine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh. Run. Oh god. That seemed like a cliff. So much for reality check. Hello, little fairy. Are you going to tell me this is all a fantastical dream? No. Did I die? Your skin. Am I in the bad place? <laughs> you wish. Oh man, the bad place. I'm so Can I offer you a human foot filled with holes? A bar of green human candy? Oh, oh, no, that's not. Black shadow box that reflects only sadness. <laughs> <laughs> what up? Huh? What's that? Oh. The sound. It's so alluring. TV. Scales for the screaming box. I'll give you a hundred. I'm loose. Loose. Well, Luz, oh. pretty clever for a human. You're just taking everybody's money. I'm Ida, the Owl Lady. The most owl powerful lady. witch. Ida, the Owl Lady. You are wanted for misuse of magic and demonic misdemeanors. How much was the reward? Whoa. Which criminal? You are hereby ordered to come with me to the conformatorium. Would conformatorium? You following me around? And you're coming too. What? Why? Fraternizing with a criminal. What? Let me get my stuff. Bazooka. Or, okay. <laughs> Staff. Oh. Follow me, human. Nice and tidy. If I die here, my mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> Man, we're out of here. First paintings, blessed rocks. Yeah, all right. You did. You got away with it. She got away with it, everybody. <laughs> this is the Boiling Isles. Every Whoa. myth you humans have is caused by a little of our world leaking into yours. Interesting. Oh, that actually looks like... Yeah. I knew it! Griffins, vampires, giraffes. Giraffes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Banished those guys. Banished? Freaks. Why? This is clearly not the PG fantasy world I always dreamed about. <laughs> Can you help me get back home? Nope. Only if you help me first. <laughs> ah, <now come> along, <laughs> Little <you're> snort. <laughs> it's got a face of a baby. An ugly, ugly baby. Password, please. We got no time for this, Hootie. Let us in. Wah. Welcome 
to Are we inside the owl? The owl house. Okay, this is the owl house. <laughs> Who dares intrude upon I, the king of demons? Tiny little thing. Who's your little guy? Who's your little guy? <laughs> no, I don't know who your little guy is. Ida, who is this monster? <laughs> oh, this is Luz, the human. <laughs> She's here to help us with our little <laughs> situation. Situation. Oh, hooray! King was once a mighty king of demons. Until his crown of power was stolen and he became... Yoink! This. You mean this little bundle of joy? Locked away behind a magical force field that only a human can break through. Huh. Who could say no to this cute face? <gasps> no! Please don't encourage her! <laughs> I mean, we're kind of your only way home. So I don't <sighs> have any choice, do I? No. Nope. Now you soon, Mr. Ducky. We shall drink the fear of those who mocked us. <laughs> Where are we going? Somewhere super Too cute. fun. What? I doubt it. It's the reality check. These guys really have the hots for you. How yep. much is that? We were never caught. Hang on tight. Whoa. Oh. They're flying on a destructo disc. Oh. It just disappeared without warning. She can do a pull up. Impressive. <laughs> Cats don't do that. Stupid warden likes to lock people up who don't fit in. <sighs> like, I write fanfics of food falling in love. Oh, I like love. Just let me write about it. I'm here because I like eating my own eyes. Uh, don't do that. Oh, it just comes You're back. Okay, that's fine. Free expression. These aren't crimes. Yeah. You actually did anything wrong. Free everybody. You're all just a bunch of weirdos. Like me. Yeah. Free everyone. It's Warden Rat. Hide. In a cell? Wait, can you just get back out? We will resist. We will conquer. We will never be afraid of you, you old creep. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh wait, I'm free. No, you're not. There's no place in society for you if you can't fit in. That is screwy. I can get you out. <laughs> no, my weak nerd arms. Haha, <laughs> weak nerd arms. You still can, kid. Enjoy freedom for us. Oh. The warden is distracted, tormenting some tiny creature. He won't be coming around here anytime soon. She wants to help everyone. My crown, it's close. I can sense its power. <laughs> oh, he gets so cute when he's thirsty for power. <laughs> it's not fair that they're all in here. They just it want isn't. to be themselves. <laughs> Apparently, that's how you open it. Before he hurts himself. Ah, uh, too late. <laughs> this is why loses here. That's a lot of junk. And a crown. Wait a second. Is that a... My crown! Really? I shall call you Francois and you shall be a minion in my army of darkness. Ha <laughs> ha! What? That crown doesn't give him any powers, does it? Uh, no. We only have each other. So if that dumb crown is important to him, oh. it's important to me. Let's get out of here before the warden finds us and loses his head. Um. Too late. Make him lose his head! Cut it! Oh! She's fine. She's she's fine. Ow! Oh, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> this just happens when you get older. Does it? It, it does. Finally, I knew if I took your pet's toy, you'd come running. Oh. No, my power. We'll get you another what one. What do you want with me? I've never actually broken any of your stupid laws in front of you. <laughs> in front of you. I want you. You've always eluded our capture. You've always been the one who got away. <sighs> I found that alluring. What? I everything you're saying right now. So how about it, Our Lady? The most powerful witch of the Boiling Isles. Heck no! Ward. I mean, it's it's not like you can say no right now. <laughs> Disgusting. You had your guard stalk me and then you cut off my head. Yeah. I'm not going out with you. Yeah. If you don't accept, then I have no choice but to destroy- Thwack! Go lose. Nice. <laughs> Expect a <laughs> Expect a escape kiss. Are we eventually freeing everyone? Ida, lend me a hand. Like this? I can't believe this is working. Everybody's free. Lose. Go back to the human world. No. What about you guys? No. Wow. Ooh. Now you're thinking with portals. Chance to escape. 
The warden will catch us. He always does. We belong here. Oh, so no. A prison you could never escape from. That's yeah. a Jeez. So nobody should be punished for who they are. <laughs> Today I capture you once and for all. Weirdo pervert. <laughs> Creep. Kill him. <laughs> Woo. -hoo. I you... practice the ancient art of fan fiction. Ancient art. I am loose, the human warrior of peace. <laughs> oh, that's. That was actually one of her better breakups. Not a break. <laughs> Let's bounce before any more monsters fall in love with me. No. There are gonna be lots of monsters who fall in love well, with her, probably. Let's get you home. I don't think she wants to go. I know it's not the same. Aww. A king shouldn't be without a crown. You there, plant! You are now under my command. <laughs> oh, and don't forget this. How could you choose to go back? I know you got your head cut off, and we started some kind of prison riot, but this was the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> I want to stay and become a witch like you. Humans can't become witches. Why not? That's because they haven't tried. If you teach me to become a witch, I'll do anything you want. Don't say that. She can make us snacks. Okay, if it's low. I'll teach you how to be a witch, but you have to work for me. Oh. Young child goes missing. Oh. Your sleep cocoon looks fluffy. Aww. Aww. Curling up at her feet. She's sleeping in the attic. The whole thing just- the whole house just blinked. Can you magic up her- a room for her? Alright, a very fun first episode in this show. I love weirdos. Who wants to be basic and normal? Luz is awesome. There probably should be rules about bringing wildlife to school to protect the other students, but the problem isn't that she needs a reality check. Encourage kids and their creativity. Safely. Uh, also, the other kids are so boring. How are they that freaked out by the sausages coming out of her when she commits suicide in a stage play? The spiders, okay, I get. Uh, but the eye thing is just silly. Like, a little gross to some people, but, like, it shouldn't send everybody running and screaming. And her mom was saying that the fantasy world was holding her back, which... I was like, how? How is that possible? But she drew the connection between that and Luz not having any real friends. I don't know about that. Does she not have any friends because of her eccentric interests? Or is she into weird things because she doesn't have any friends? Do they have nothing to do with each other? I don't know. But maybe the issue is that everybody is just a bunch of squares. It seems like she'll make friends in this new world rather easily. And yeah, her first moments in the Boiling Isles were kind of jarring. That thing wanted her skin, and Luz was asking if she was in a bad place. That probably means that this show is pretty recent, because The Good Place wasn't that long ago. Uh, that's one of my favorite shows, so her bringing it up uh, gives her points in my book. Ida seems like a lot of fun. She collects all this human stuff that she doesn't really understand. She said a croc was a human foot full of holes. She thought deodorant was like some sort of candy, I think. And she thought the TV was a shadow box that only reflects sadness. I'm not sure if that last part is only a joke, or does she see sadness when she looks at her reflection? Because she's rather upbeat, but it doesn't mean that she can't be like really sad inside, I don't know. I guess I'll find out if I continue this show, which I really kind of want to do. The Conformatorium is this world's version of the reality check camp, just locking up a bunch of weirdos who dare to act outside the norm. They haven't even done anything wrong, as opposed to Ward and Raph, just absolute creep, set up a reward to capture Ida, sent his goons after her, cut off her head, all just because he wanted to go on a date with her, just great a creep. And it doesn't feel like we're done with him yet, but hopefully he's not a frequently recurring character. Like, I can handle him in small doses, especially if it's like Ida, Luz, and King like kicking his butt. But is that his name though, King? Or is that just what we call him? He's very, very cute. But yeah, Luz was all over him, squishing him. The little grabby hands she did while Ida pulled her away was fantastic. And I can't believe we broke into the conformatorium and just went through all of that just for his little Burger Queen crown. But it's also very sweet of Ida to go so far for it, and for him. I think she and Luz are like-minded in that way, and the journey to being a witch could be a lot of fun. I think I'd feel a little uncomfortable making an agreement with Ida without some stipulations, like I can go home whenever I want, or at least some sort of outline of what kind of tasks she expects of me. But I don't think Ida is the type to take advantage. Hopefully she doesn't. Uh, a lot of cool world building in this episode though, the owl door that basically swallows them whole to get them into the house. I don't think I would have ever guessed that the owl is the house, or is it actually just the door and I'm actually unclear about that. 
I was hoping for a much bigger prison break, but it seems like just three of them got out. Really like that little weirdo conspiracy theorist. But yeah, none of them deserve to be in there, and don't get me started on the carceral system in the real world. But they've been beat down so bad by this world that they think they belong there. It's... I feel like... There are parallels to like queer and marginalized identities here in the story structure. Society tries to make them conform, fit them into a box, and beyond just being a bit of a weirdo, Luz is also a minority. This first episode really focused in on people who have been otherized, so I'm curious if the show will touch on things beyond just like personal quirkiness and maybe touch on gender, race, orientation. Oh, there was that moment when Luz blushed when Ida said us weirdos have to stick together and she like winked. That could be something, could be nothing, but Luz is on this fun, wonderful adventure in this new world. It's exciting. Kind of wild though that Luz's phone has enough reception to text her mom, but I feel like the camp counselors would tell her mom that she didn't arrive anyway. But also, yeah, Luz's phone case is very cute. It's like a little bat and wings. But I kind of wish society encouraged everybody to be entirely themselves, let people be weird as long as they don't hurt anybody. Uh, the little outro was a lot of fun. It seems like there was something of a school setting. That's what stood out to me most because it seemed the most normal. And yeah, there were kids who waved to her, so maybe she makes some friends. That would be great for her. And yeah, this episode's title is A Lying Witch and a Warden. And yeah, did Ida lie? I don't really think so. I mean, the crown isn't what we thought it was, but I don't think of her as a lying witch because, because of that. I don't know. Um, are the titles in this series spoilery, or can I discuss them before each episode? Because I find it fun to like kind of speculate. Wait, is the title a pun? The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe? The Lion, Witch, and the Warden? I think it is. I really like that. Uh, especially since Luz stepped through into another world in the first episode. That's a lot of fun. Anyway, I just brushed the surface with this first episode, I'm sure, but I can see why people really like this show. Uh, there are too many shows, and making reactions is too much work to react to everything I want to watch, but again, full reaction is going to be on Patreon. Leave a like if you want me to see more episodes of this, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, friends.